everybody, this is your host Nazmi Jannat representing to you an amazing show about the greatest magician S.C. Shikdar. And the name of our show is The Magician S.C. Shikdar and the Magic Bangla TV. Display of traits of magic was rampant on states, on countryside and on the marketplaces. And as far as I can remember, these magicians used to win our hearts by their amazing performances. But there is one among us who has taken the initiative to carry on such act and his only mission and vision is to spread the art of magic worldwide. Thus he visits many countries across the globe and has won trillions of hearts with his wonderful magic traits. And he is none other than our favorite and beloved Shafiullah Sheikhdar. He has excelled in his career and a pride to Bangladesh and this renowned magician also informs us about the ancient history of magic. According to S.C. Shekdar, magic is an art which was originated in ancient Bengal from where it spread to the west. Many western magicians perform magic traits in guise of Bengali which is in fact still now being continued at present. Explanation of the meaning of art is not limited in human life because the first step of an art is one's spiritual and sensible satisfaction. Okay guys, so let's not wait any longer and get to the conversation with S.U. Shikdar. So Mr. Shikdar, tell us about how you feel to be one of the greatest magicians in history. You see, I don't think or I don't feel yet that I am the greatest magician but people acclaim, people say, I am the greatest. This is the, the people love me, so they. Okay, tell us now, as uh, we already know that you are a legend of Bangladesh. So what brought you to this profession? How did you become a magician? It's a long story. Very, when I was very young, oh, almost four or five years. You know, in the village, the snake charmer, they go village to village, house to house. One of them came to our home, show some snake charming, the snakes, uh, dance up, and also they perform some magic. You say, say, they show me one like uh, one small egg, bird egg. Suddenly a bird appears from his hand. So that's why I was astonished and I attracted to him. So you got impressed by that yes, magic. Yes. How did the egg become bird? <laughs> okay. And after that, when I become slowly bigger and bigger, I introduce with the other magician, one of them late, the great Shamuni. He was also a legend of Bengal, Bangladesh at that his time. He teach me some magic. After that I go to India, Thailand, China, many where and I develop myself as a magician. So Mr. Sheikdar, as I live in Bangladesh and I'm a Bangladeshi, since childhood I have been loving magic myself. But I do feel that the magicians in Bangladesh do not have that much effect in uh, our public like the ones they have abroad. So why do you think the magicians in Bangladesh are backseated? I think uh, I differ with your question. The, with the, any magician in the village or in the urban or city area, they have some impact. Everybody loves magic. Yes, we do. Hey, you know, and some sort of uh, lacking of uh, backing uh, uh, that is called like technical support okay, financial. and uh, financial support. Yeah. All of these, the main backage, backlog in our, uh, this art. In our country, we do not have enough funding or enough patroni patronizer who support the magician. Okay. Our magician do themselves, they do uh, uh, any, any way they make some magic, they earn some money. But they do not, don't have any experience in the abroad or even in, in our country, don't have any good teacher. That's why uh, this is not this is not a, any uh, institutional uh, background. We need institutional background support for this uh, area. We are trying to 
establish an institution and like uh, to teach the people the good magic. Okay, so basically it's the financial and the technical support that we are lacking in Bangladesh. Yes, yes. And if you have that, we'll also have the magicians yes. like we have in abroad. Okay. You know, you, you, I think you don't uh, forget, you know one name, P.C. Sharkar. He was son of uh, this Bengal. Okay. He was, he was uh, son of our country. And he is also a world famous magician. So he's the pride of our country, definitely. Just like pride of our country. Is there already any organization running in Bangladesh or are you are planning to develop a new one? More than one organization in our country. Okay. Uh, Is it one, affiliated one with the... One of the uh, Bangladesh Magician Council that in uh, Bangladesh Jaduga Parishad. It is affiliated with the international uh, uh, one magician, FISAM, Federation of International Magicians. And also many Bangladeshi magicians are a member of International Brotherhood of Magicians. Okay, so what position do you have there? What role are you playing? At present, I am the president of the Bangladesh Magicians Council, okay. uh, as well as the Federation of Bangladesh Magicians. I am the president. And also the territorial vice president of International Brotherhood of Magicians. Congratulations on that, and we are really lucky to have you. Thank you. What further plans do you have on this organization? How are you planning to develop it? Our next plan to organize an international uh, uh, convention in our country to gather the more than 200 countries magicians in our country to introduce our magic to the world. Well, that's awesome. Do you think it's one way to spread the magic all over the country? This is the one way but not the only way. Other than this, we have established one magic, uh, full magic channel in our country, 24 hours magic channel, TV channel. It is online now. All right. Well, as by the name, we can already guess the Magic Bangla TV, which is uh, supposed to be on magic. Tell us something more about the channel. This is uh, almost now uh, as online based TV, IPTV. And in near future, we are trying to make it a satellite, full satellite TV. And it's our aim, main aim to establish the magician and make popularity the magic to the people. And uh, other this, our, we will also introduce our culture, art and culture, in different, different of, uh, aspect of our country with this channel. You know, magic na, na, magic cannot go alone. Magic is a part of different art, like 18 art together makes a magic color. <laughs> you know? Yes. A magic is a 18 uh, different part of the art culture. Yeah. We get together and make a magic. This way it is a very, very vast opportunity with our channel, we can make it like drama, a mime show, everywhere we can put our magic. Magic, you can do, people can show the magic trick anyway, but it is not the nice looking. When you put the drama in this, the sequence in this and make a, a, a very tremendous, uh, is, uh, uh, is, uh, tremendous impact in the high stage the people is applause and uh, the astonished what is going on but if you show the only trick nobody like the magic yes. all together when you put in this magic it will become art combination of everything yes, it's a combination yes. of that's why we have many things to do in our channel okay we are looking forward to see everything you have in mind mm -hmm. Is your magic channel promoting the young ones too? Yes, obviously. We are uh, planning to promote our children to, to make them a future world famous magician. We are planning different way to establish the, uh, through our federation the this called workshop and we have already established a magic college. 
Okay, magic so holiday. It is a very uh, great opportunity to learn magic in the world class standard. Okay, that's great. So, Mr. Magician, uh, we all know that you have visited a lot of countries and performed there. What do you think was their reaction or how did they welcome you? You see, first advantage, I am a magician from Bengal. So, they imagine the Bengal magic and they like very much to welcome me. So I will do something else other than them and a different way. So they very love very much in the traditional Bengal magic. Okay, so you have performed everywhere, almost uh, all over the world, mm -hmm. as well as in Bangladesh, and you have performed in big, big shows. So what do you think when you perform at the same show in Bangladesh? Do you get the same reaction? I get the same reaction, but I don't do the same thing what I do in the Western part. I do here the Western magic, in Western magic and Venetian way. So our people like this very much. Okay, so it's vice versa basically. Yes. I know the, our country people, what they love, they, lo they love change. Okay. They, the people of Western people, they also like the change. Give us a few examples of what you do in Western countries and what you do in... When I do same magic, I do or dressing and dialogue and uh, everything, the, even apparatus. Is the Indian way, the great Bengal way, the western part. The western. But when I do magic in Bangladesh, I do every get up from western. So people make uh, feel a change. So, uh, people like, you know, like um, when we saw the uh, picture there, the movie, if we, sometime we um, see the movie like our uh, art film, you yeah, our Bangla art film and the commercial show. People make the difference. This is gorgeous, colorful, the commercial show. So I produce uh, my commercial show in Bangladesh. But I produce my art film, art show to the Western. Okay. So could you please tell us which is the first magic you practiced uh, in your career or in your life? The first magic. From beginning of my hour to the conversation, I told you the egg, the egg, egg and the bird. Yes. So that was your first magic? This was the, this was the first magic. Okay, that, that's good. And uh, I believe this is your favorite magic as well. This is also favorite magic of many magicians of the world. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, sir, uh, we already know you are a legend of Bangladesh and uh, almost throughout the world. So, uh, you must have been struggling very hard to get to this position you have made. Uh, tell us something about your struggle story. You know, when I start our magic, this was not so easy in our country. It was, uh, even there is uh, no or oh, institution though, not yet, yeah. But very hard to find a proper man who teach magic. This, is, this was also very hard. It was almost a, a family business. Nobody disclosed his idea or profession to the other people. But we break this. Our, my great teacher, he is also a doctor, he was an MBBS doctor, but he know the magic and he teach me to become a magician in this way. After that many magicians, when I start almost 20 to 25 magicians in our country, but now it is almost 6,000 musicians. 6,000, that's a lot of number. So, the time has changed. Now, very easy. If anybody desires to be a, become a musician, just come to us to get admission to the college. He learn magic and he can do the good magic. By the grace of Almighty, you are a successful person now. But there are a lot of people who are struggling outside to achieve their goal. What suggestions do you have for them? First of all, education first. Secondly, if he want to learn magic, he will he must start his early life. 
because it need lot of practice lot of skillness i think it is very good time for the school going children they are part time uh, extra curriculum activities from that they slowly slowly gradually learn the magic after that when he make a graduation complete he will become a complete magician and uh, opportunity uh, we can give them the proper teaching to our college our personal guidance we can make him okay i'll make an off track question to you uh, we all have heard a lot of a uh, lot about you actually and we also heard that you have vanished eiffel tower as well as uh, some series so how do you do that and uh, what is your experience about it last uh, two years before i have visited paris definitely we are have a walking outside the um, eiffel tower basically some of my followers said oh magician can you vanish this one <laughs> oh, okay i i don't have anything but i have only one stick that time in my hand so the wait i will make this spear so this is stick i feel tower in front of you right way you did not have anything with you just no, one just stick one stick i vanish like this i feel tower That's a big time magic. I mean, how did you even do that? And I myself That's that is magic. <laughs> that is magic. And you do inspire us actually. And if I was a child, then even I would have started with the practice yes. definitely. And you have also vanished some cities like uh in Thailand. Yeah, you so I have uh in in China I I have to done the walking through China wall. Okay. I passed the China Wall. <laughs> I, I suddenly I vanished it. You no, know, I go through the China Wall. Oh, you passed through the China Wall. I vanished there. I even uh, at the uh, at the city, the three middle uh, three building. I vanished one middle building in front of everybody. And what was the reaction of people over there? The <laughs> Actually, it's everywhere. How, how did you do this? the last two steps? <laughs> okay, so uh, did you ever have an experience like uh, were the cops ever after you for performing such magics, like vanishing the buildings or uh, cities, whatever? You see, when a magician go anywhere in the world, people don't know him. He is doing his way the thing, his uh, magic. But somebody. Like cops and other people can get it. After that, when do any magic to him, or make any magic with the cops or the people, they make friendship. Friendship. <laughs> That's the advantage of being a magician. Okay, so it is very often when you go abroad, the people say, "What are you going? How how much dollar you have?" common question we basically we don't carry any dollar so we carry some white paper or something else okay we make dollar in it <laughs> that's all well after knowing so much about your magic and its, its experiences we definitely get very curious to see your magic like uh, personally i am very curious to see your magic as well as the audiences i think so please show us some okay i will uh, share one experience with you As a musician, I often go outside abroad, everywhere in immigration, other things. When go, I, are you a musician? Can you do a music trick? What I do now, I show. That's wonderful. That's that's great. That's how you do it in public. 
So we have seen a beautiful magic by our great magician and uh, we'll see some more and end the program over here. So uh, I think you should spend some more time with the audience and they must see some more of your performances and magic. So I'm taking a leave right now with the audience and thank you so much for being with us. Uh, have a good day and bye-bye. Thank you very much.